Question 11. Rearrange the following formula to make k the subject. Okay, so we've got 3 times k squared equals m. We want to make k the subject. So the first thing we're going to do is move the 3. So we're going to divide each side by 3. So we're going to get k squared, k squared equals m divided by 3. Okay. To make k the subject then we need to get rid of that squared. So the opposite of squaring is square rooting. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to do k equals the square root of m over 3. Next part, part b. Rearrange the following formula to make g the subject. Okay, we've got g in two places here. So I'm going to use brackets. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up using brackets. I'm going to take the g outside. So inside, I'm going to have e, because g times e will be g, e g, plus f, because g times f will be f g, equals h. Okay, so now I've factorised and taken the g outside, I can move this as a whole, and that's what I mean by wrapping it. Once you've put brackets around it, it acts as a whole thing. It's like wrapping it up in paper. So, in between the g and the bracket then is a teeny weeny tiny whiny sign sign. So to get rid of e plus f, we need to divide by it. So g equals h divided by e plus f.